So the focus of uh, the fields of electrical and computer engineering in the next 20-30 years would really be to help solve some of the major societal problems that we face today. The increasing urbanization uh, that's happening in the world where more than 50% of the world's population will be living in cities presents a whole lot of new problems to uh, societies and this includes the need for more advanced transportation systems, the need for energy systems, the need for water systems and healthcare systems, for example. In all of these fields, electrical computer engineering can contribute. In uh, NUS ECE, our aim is to empower students. Uh, to train them to be professional engineers who can help to contribute to solving the, some of these uh, major societal problems. Electrical engineering will also contribute to solving the problems presented by climate change through the electrification of vehicles, cars, uh, buses, uh, trains, aeroplanes and even ships of the future. And these intelligent transportation systems will require us to have uh, telecommunications or informatics to control them, sensors to allow us to sense uh, the location and the environment and so on, so that cars can intelligently interact with one another as well as with pedestrians and the infrastructure. You have this renewable energy coming in, that's so intermittent in a way that uh, whenever you need it, it might not be there for you. So uh, Smart Grid is a vision that you can have the ways to control and manage all these uh, energy options better. We have now one of the world's best solar energy institutes. It's, it's an amazing technology in the sense that it combines a lot of different fields. It's very multidisciplinary, so it's never boring. And you can do wonderful things, for example, powering Singapore and, and the world with clean electrons. In the last you know, 20, 30 years, we have developed technologies that enable us to see things at atomic level. Right? So we can today visualize atoms, we can see single atoms, we can even move a single atom on a chip. You know? I can take atoms and arrange them into like a Lego pattern, you know, arrange them. We have such capabilities today. In nanoelectronics, we make devices which are miniaturized and they are more power efficient and uh, computationally faster. We enable uh, the making of chips with more functionalities, like being able to smell, to see, and to hear. Robotics is absolutely fun. You wake up in the morning thinking what will happen uh, for the whole day and you see robots being built, technologies being created. Interestingly, the more I build robots, the more I learn about humans. One of the things that we're trying to develop now is for ways to uh, record the signals from the body um, and then use those signals to help the person regain mobility. Uh, so that allows them to actually move, uh, allows them to interact with the world. We are working on the development of UAV with advanced um, operational capabilities such as um, fully autonomous flight, um, waypoint navigations and obstacle avoidance. It can be sent into a collapsed building um, to gather information or visualizations of the interior of the buildings sent out to the rescuers outside before the rescuer even go into the building to rescue. For me, I think the most exciting point for my research is that I, I try to solve the problem from real life. For example, a lot of people with this kind of issue are how to dress properly, right? Yeah, and also for the young lady, maybe uh, quite difficult for them to understand hey, what I should do to make up for the day, right? 
we take the images along a street, like uh, those Google Street View images, and then we extract the 3D information from those images. Then we can uh, reorganize those point clouds into texture mapped 3D models. Those models, they are virtual representations of the real world. They can be used for map services. They can also be used to create imaginary scenarios in games or movies. Like I said, the main part is your uh, content. The ECE department, in general, uh, extremely good at uh, several things. One, it has the world-class pool of faculty here. Two, it draws from the global pool of students, so it has some of the best students. And of course, it has one of the finest infrastructures. So it's a combination of all these things that makes, I believe, ECE a very unique place for students to come and join and learn, and at the end of the day, realize their own dreams. The best person who is suitable for this field is someone who's imaginative, creative, and someone who's brave enough to take ideas into reality. When you feel you create something uh, new that some, nobody has seen it before, you feel very excited about your work. You're actually working for you, yourself. Your ambition, your dreams, and what you want to do, right? And that's very special. 